Hello and welcome to my video on uh, the Kindle Fire and how to download audiobooks from your library using the Overdrive app uh, that's available free from Amazon at your uh, app store. Here's your app button to gain access to this free Overdrive uh, um, software and this is what the icon looks like when you uh, get it downloaded and installed on your Kindle Fire. The library systems all across uh, the US uh, pretty much use uh, this Overdrive software uh, to give you access uh, to downloadable books. So, once you've downloaded and installed, let's get started. Click on it. Now, here's the other thing that's very important is uh, you need to get with your library and uh, get a library card and get a, uh, a pen to associate with it so that you get access to the online books through OverDrive. So, now, this is the home page of that uh, OverDrive uh, software. And when you first come on to this uh, page, there won't be a library there until you assign one. Uh, you go to this category right here, put in your zip code, do a search, and it'll give you all the libraries uh, in your particular area. So since I already have one assigned, I'm going to go back and I get this. Okay, um, I click on my library here in Alachua County and uh, it comes up eventually onto the home page uh, of Overdrive. This is my library, Alachua County Library District here in Gainesville, Florida. Here's all the categories that I can download. Now there's also books and material in here, but for our demonstration I'm taking you straight to uh, audio books and uh, how to download one. I'm going to select all fiction. There's more categories here of audio book under audio book there. Now there's over 1500 audio books of all types in there. I haven't told it I want uh, uh, which format I want. The format I want is uh, MP3. That's the only format that uh, uh, that the Kindle Fire will play from the library. So uh, I'm going to narrow my search down, and I want a particular author. So I'm going to go to Advanced Search. Okay, there we finally got it. Now. We go to author, and I want J. A. Jans, one of my favorites. Okay, once you've done that, uh, the the format is down below. What you do is push, hold, and pull up. That's important because if you don't, if you just click, it's going to open that category and that might not have been what you want. So you want to go down to all formats. Now I do want to see what formats are available so I just click. But now the format I want is down below so somewhere in here I push, hold, and slide. Then I want Overdrive MP3 audiobooks so I can click on that. And I have the Author is J.A. Jantz, and I am only going to get the MP3 category that I want. And down here, I want to press Available Now just to see what's available uh, for me to check out. I would click on that and then Search. And I'm going to eliminate all of the ones that I can't check out right now. 
So these are all available and right here this little headphone is the audio symbol. The ebooks have a open book symbol so that these should all be audio books. And there you've seen how to tailor your search for just the type material you want. So let's uh, find one here that uh, maybe I want. Uh, I've read most of these. Uh, let's see. Okay, this one right here. Don't or shoot. Don't shoot. I'm going to click on that. Okay, it come up with borrow, so that is available. Now, uh, if I click on borrow, you're going to see my sign-on uh, username, and I don't want you to see that, so I'm not going to click on it right this moment. I'm going to, I'm going to go past that stage, but uh, letting you know that this is where you'd have to have your library card number and your PIN available to sign in. So I'm going to pause here. Okay, I have uh, signed in, and uh, now this is the screen I'll come up with. This is my bookshelf, and all of the books that are in my cart that I have checked out are here. And we've checked this book out, and now this is the download section where I can actually download uh, the book uh, to my Kindle. So uh, this is the uh, ebook symbol right here, the black uh, open uh, pages of a book. And uh, th this is, these are all the books that I have checked out right now. And this is the new one that I just uh, checked out. And so I want to download this one. So I can simply click on that. And it's going to take me to the download section. It says loading new title. Now a book has been added to your bookshelf. Uh, see if you looked away you wouldn't have seen that. So what you there's a couple of places. You can go up here or you can go right here and go to bookshelf. Okay. So I see bookshelf is there. But I could go right up here. Well let me go ahead and do it that way. Okay. This is one of the books I had just uh, downloaded earlier. And now, here's the new one. And you'll look, it says downloading. This one doesn't have anything there. Now here, uh, see what you have to do is at least wait till the first one gets downloaded and then you will have some details that you can look at. And this is details of the book something about it. Uh, here's the files and right there you can see that the second part is being downloaded. Looks like there's six parts in this book and uh, it's progressed. So this one's already downloaded and it's waiting on the others. So you'll just have to sit back and wait and when it finishes uh, you'll be able to uh, uh, to hear this audio book. So we will just go back uh, to the beginning and you can see it's still doing its deal and here if you wanted to return or delete you could do it from there and we go back. Um, that's pretty much it. So to play that book you would come to uh, this and you would go to your bookshelf and this is where you would play the book. While that one's downloaded I'm going to show you what it's going to look like when you try to play one. From the studios of Books in Motion in Spokane, Washington. Okay. This is, this is uh, one that I have uh, downloaded. This is the player. This is your navigation of your parts 
and they give you a little leading uh, sentence of what that uh, part starts out with and you have a bookmark section right here we don't have any bookmarks but if we did here's the bookmark point I can place one in there and there there's my bookmark at five seconds into part one so bookmarking is uh, is a quick way of getting back to a point that you wanted to, to go to when you close the book out okay and to play at any time uh, you can go back to player and hit play Reading hour of the hunter by J. A. and there you go book opens with a dedication and let's say um, if you've listened for a couple of hours you want to bookmark it you simply put your bookmark in there and you can close it out by just simply going out now when you come back it's going to come back to that same place but you could um, go over here to bookshelf and that's where your uh, bookshelf of all your books are located if you want to go back into Hunter click on it and you could look at your bookmarks by going here and remembering where you left off you could pick the particular bookmark you want to start from so that's about it so this is the last one the bone and, and again Hunter, remember right here is the player you can leave this anywhere you want the author also wishes to acknowledge the and so between this toolbar and this toolbar you've got all the access and this toolbar for pausing and uh, that's about it if you want to close it out from there uh, you could uh, just go to the bookshelf and close now if we want to see where we're at here whoop, this is the one that's downloading details and remember there's a toolbar here I go to files and we're up to part five so there you have it uh, everything you need to know about uh, downloading audiobooks uh, using the overdrive app that's available from um, your app store for the Kindle Fire so enjoy an audiobook I think you'll find them enjoyable okay that's all